Hey guys, Itaewon Sammy here on a Friday, Friday night. It is seven o'clock at night. Let's see if this, uh, this is my first night shoot. I'm walking back from a class. So let's see how this camera picks up at night. Uh, let's hope it works, okay? So I'm um, gonna do a little quick vlog about things that I have never done in Korea that is normal for either tourists to do or Koreans to do. So things I've never done in Korea. Um, and before I get to that, again, thank you everyone for, for subscribing. I have had a recent spike in subscribers. I, I got about 100 subscribers, uh, 80 to 100 new subscribers more than normal and i have to attribute that to uh some of the new uh marketing that i'm doing in facebook groups in reddit uh and just you know different places that i'm posting my my vlogs uh on living in south korea I want to say thank you to my subscribers. I uh, really appreciate it. And if you can, and if you haven't subscribed, please click the link below, subscribe, like, uh, comment. And if you really, really want to, please share. It helps a lot because it gets my videos uh, in a higher rotation. I mean, what it does is it allows, it, it gets the algorithm, the, the Facebook, uh, the YouTube algorithm to get my videos to show up more uh, so I've seen a lot of click-through where people will see my thumbnail and then click on it so I'm, I'm seeing a, a spike in that and that's a good thing because I'm getting a lot of traction in the YouTube algorithm so I really appreciate that so let's get to my vlog for today things I've never done in Korea so this is basically like the things that Koreans do on a general, you know, on average or what a tourist would do. Like if, if you go to China, you go to the Forbidden City, you go to Tiananmen Square, you go to the Great Wall. So you come to Seoul, the things you will do is you would go to the palaces, you would go to Namsan Tower, you would go maybe to the DMZ, to the border, you would go to Gangnam, you would do all the touristy things. Um, so let's start with the touristy things. So here's some of the touristy things that I have never, in my 10 years of living in Korea, I have never done. And number one on my list is, I have never gone to a sauna. They call it a jimchilbang. So I've never gone to a Korean sauna. So I don't know why, because I've gone, when I've traveled to Japan, I've gone to Japanese saunas but I've never gone to a Korean one and it's not because I'm shy or anything like that it's just not my style I would love to go it's just not my style um, yeah and no desire no desire to go number two I have never been to a PC bang or a uh, a, a computer, a net cafe, PC room. Because back, they were popular 10 years ago, 15 years ago, because computers were so expensive. Um, people would go and spend about a dollar an hour to go to, a, to play games on these super computers. Um, so those became very popular. Um, I think they're on the downtrend now because computers are very cheap these days. Gaming computers, I mean my gaming computer that I have at home, I only spent about less than $1,300 on it three years ago. Uh, and it was, it's quite powerful. I can still play top of the line games at 90%. Uh, I did a, 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 a test on my computer and it was in the top 90%. So it's not bad. You know, I, I, I like it. So that's the second thing. Third thing is 
that Koreans do is I have what else I think that's it for what like Koreans normally do so let's go to the tour yeah wait yeah I mean on average those that, that's what I, I've never really done which is what most people will do when they come here I've done everything else you know I've gone for the dinners I've gone for the you know the barbecue I've done you know the I've gone to the karaoke room, I've gone to the booking bar, you know, I've done all those things, but uh, the other two I haven't done, probably will never do. Touristy things that I've never done. I haven't been to Busan Hyundai. Now I did travel through there on business a couple of months ago but I just drove past and it was in winter time. I've never been to Jeju Island either. Other than the last year because of my new company, I've never traveled outside of Seoul. <laughs> uh, really, I, number one, I haven't had the time. Number two, I've never had the inclination, but yeah, I, I wanna try to do that next year. Uh, I wanna try to get out and travel more. Um, the other thing is I live in Itaewon I live 500 meters from Nam San Tower, which is the main tower. Looks like the CN Tower. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. It looks like Nam San Tower. It's, it looks like um, any of the towers, that, the, the transmission towers that you see. And it, it sits on top of a small mountain in the center of the city. And I live on the the hill halfway up the hill uh, and I can see the tower from my bedroom and in the 10 years I've lived here living in Itaewon less than 500 meters from the tower I've never been up there never been up there no desire <laughs> I've been to Lotte World Tower and that gives me a great view of the city so I have no reason to go to Namsan Tower it's more of a romantic thing and as in my last video you saw, I'm single, so, oh, beautiful, almost full moon today. Yeah, just shy of a full moon today. All right, so that was the two things I haven't done as a tourist in Korea. Um, and those four things are kind of things that if you were to come here as a tourist, you know, going to a PC Bang, going to a sauna, going to Hyundai, Jeju, going to Namsan, those are things that you would probably want to do uh, as a tourist. If you lived here and you were here short term, yeah, you might want to do that. You might want to, you know, go and visit those things. But as a, as a long term resident, you know, I lived in Toronto in the shadow of the CN Tower. I was like 500 meters from the CN Tower. And in the 22 years I lived there, I went up the CN Tower three times. Once when I was really young, when it first opened in like the early eight, late 70s. The second time was probably when I was living in Toronto and they were giving it away free to Ontario residents for the, I think the 20th or 30th or 50th anniversary, something like that, I don't remember. And then once when I had a tourist friend come in from out of town. So, you know, as a long-term resident, you don't do the touristy things. So that's probably why. So anyway, let's wrap this up. Those are the things I haven't done in Korea as a foreigner in Korea. And if you talk to most Koreans, the touristy things, they probably haven't done them either. Um, yeah, they probably haven't done those things either. Uh, it, I've been to the DMZ, but I was in the DMZ 10 years ago. I did that probably the second month I was in Korea. I landed in June, and I remember I went in July of that, like one month later, because it's such a crazy thing to see. So I remember I went to go see that. Will I go again? Uh, yeah, because I haven't been to Panmunjan, which is the actual border 
where if everybody watched Trump cross that border, that's the one I haven't been to. So I would like to go check that out. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna wrap it up right now. I wanted to thank everybody for watching. Itaewon Sammy, living life, and I'm out.